Radio Funhouse. Radio Funhouse. Radio Funhouse. No. Stats, numbers, percent signs. Casey's doing math again. Name something you might throw out when you get married. Uh, date book. Tell me a part of the body that begins with the letter T. Yeah. Survey says, brought to you by the Glass Cave Smoke Shop in Hamilton. Well, Father's Day is coming up this Sunday, and if you haven't gotten your dad a present yet, don't worry, because apparently after all these years of Father's Day neglect, dads are really lower in their expectations for what they want this year. And joined in the studio with me for today's episode of Survey Says is one and only DJ B-Rad. It's a little something you yeah. like to call radio camp. Yeah, radio camp. Radio, you're doing radio camp. You're hanging out with dad at work every day. Yes, I'm hanging out with work every time when yeah. I'm with my dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Radio camp. Yeah, it's radio camp. <laughs> we should name it something funny like Camp Azahagagagaga. You know, <laughs> we, should just name it, we should just name it Camp Azahagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagag
sometimes when I'm just at home and we'd be lazy, you just call me B Rad or Bradley. But now when I'm when, when you're can, on the radio, you got to go by your yeah, but your radio I, name. But when I'm on the radio, though, I have to do DJ B Rad. But yeah. when I'm just regular, I just have to go B Rad or Bradley. Well, tell tell the people. Uh, what you're planning on getting me for Father's Day? I mean, don't worry if you ruin the surprise. Oh yeah. What do you plan on getting me for Father's Day? So you know what? Hmm. I'm gonna give you a Honda motorcycle and and a Honda Vroom Vroom. A Honda motorcycle and an ATV. And ATV Vroom Vroom. Oh man. And also, I'll give you a sixty gun. A sixty? Yeah, a sixty. Like, like the is that big? Is that bigger than a fifty caliber? It's, it's a sixty caliber gun, huh? Yeah. Of course. See, and you know also, me all too well. And also, okay. I am gonna give you a lot more stuff. I'm gonna give you. Don't forget that thousand ounce steak you promised me. Oh yeah. I'll, yeah. Oh, so you know <laughs> how you make that? All you gotta do is just make a hundred steaks and put it all together by just making. Mm. Clear glue and just yep. cooking it, and then that's how you make it. <laughs> You're gluing steak together. It doesn't sound all that good. Hey, if you're looking for some Father's Day gift ideas, check out my blogs right now at kingfm.com. Hey, thanks for your help, uh, DJ B Red. Oh, yeah, let's do another one. All right, you got it. It's the Prince of Darkness, Ozzy Osbourne, over the mountain, 96.3 The Blaze, Missoula's Rock Station, with another exciting episode of Radio Camp. With DJ b right in the hole. Yeah, dude, holy cow. Yeah, some pipes on you, man. Oh, yeah, sorry. DJ b Red in the, in the heezy for sheezy. In the heezy for sheezy. <laughs> uh, today on Radio Camp, I want to discuss with you the the Hellgate Roller Derby bout that's coming up. Remember we were talking yeah. about Roller yeah. Derby earlier? Yeah, th- yeah, like the Hellgate one. Yeah, like, that's that's what we we're talking e- about. Explain what Roller Derby is if you can. Roller Derby is like a kind of like fight that you're like in cars fighting, but yeah. you're on roller skates fighting. Yeah, instead of having like a, a car death match, you're doing roller yeah, like, skate death match. Yeah, you're doing you're doing the death match, and whoever <laughs> loses, yeah. That's, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. That's Just pretty straightforward. Down. You know, a lot of black eyes. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of uh, yeah. a lot of punching. Stabbing. Don't get black eyes. Shark shark fins. You know. Don't don't get black eyes. Off the top no, ropes. No. DDT. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Oh, don't get black eyes because <laughs> that will break your eyes. Get punched right in the eyes. Yep, right in the eyes, and that will take two weeks or three or ten weeks. You better put a stake on it. Uh, yeah. Double header Hellgate Roller Derby is excited to host the second round of home games here on Saturday. The first bout's going to be at five o'clock. Uh, yeah. the Hellgate Roller Derby is going to going to take on Lilac City's Sass from yeah. Spokane, and uh, they lost to the Sass in February in this yeah, close little Sass. bout that they had. Uh, but they're going to be having themselves a little redemption there. Then at seven o'clock, the B team, the Hellgate Roller Derby's B squad, is going to battle the the Hell's Bales from Helena. Oh yeah. 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 And yeah. it's going to be going on at the fairgrounds on Saturday. $10. Yep. Tickets available at the door. Uh, students and seniors, $8. And kids like B Rad here yep. are free. DJ B Rad. Don't forget DJ. DJ B Rad. Yep. Free for the Hellgate Roller Derby on Saturday at the fairgrounds. If you want more details, yep. of course, check out 963theblaze.com. And Bradley, thank you for another exciting episode of Radio Camp. Radio Camp. You've always wanted to live like your favorite celebrity. Well, now you can. Sort of. At the Hollywood Celebrity Fantasy Camp. Spend the day with your favorite stars. Learn from Charlie Sheen how to snort Viking and off a porn star. Like this. And how to go ape shit. Ah, tiger blood. Ah! Find out from Kirstie Alley exactly how you can eat a whole barn. Unhinge your jaw like a snake. Ah. Like this. Learn hair and makeup tips from Justin Bieber. I'm Justin Bieber, and I love Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Go Justin on Bieber. the Lindsay Lohan wild lesbian ride. This is my friend Gabriella. Hello. And this is a bull. <laughs> Practice the finer points of sleeping with marsupials with your instructors Alf and Richard Gere. I like cats. Gerbils. Cats. Gerbils. No cats. Gerbils. 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 You too can live in a dream world at the Hollywood Celebrity Fantasy Camp. Open every day in Malibu. It's 96.3 The Blaze, Missoula's rock station with P.O.D. and youth 
of the nation. Speaking of youth of the nation, it's time for another exciting episode of Radio, Radio Camp. Camp. Joined in the studio with DJ B Rad today, and we in were the house. in the house. We were discussing uh, the world's ugliest dog competition. Yeah. And uh, what's the ugliest dog you've ever met? You know, I think the world's ugly, ugliest dog ever. Mm-hmm. I think is with the flattest face ever. Yeah, yeah. Remember we had that boxer ruckus? He was a good dog, but boy, he wasn't pretty to look at, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah. He looked big. I do love ruckus. I miss him so much. Yeah, uh, when you were a kid, you loved him. Oh, yeah, but yeah, now, yeah. Now he looks so But that smashed good. face, man, I'll tell you. Yeah, with that uh, smashed face. Uh, a dog named Scamp the Tramp won the world's ugliest dog competition in California this past Friday. Uh, he came in second last year. They don't they don't even know what kind of dog he is. He's just a, a, a he's he's a he's a mutt, I guess. Um, he was found in a shelter in Compton. Yay yay in Compton back in 2014. Um, and Scamp the Tramp has no teeth. It just the tongue just hanging out. Hey everybody, I'm Scamp the Tramp. We have a winner, and the winner's right here. I am shocked and happy for him. He deserves it for everything that he does for everybody else. Ugly is a four-letter word, and so is cute. And when you can combine the two, dug on it, you got a great, great ugly dog. Yeah, that dog's so ugly, you got to put a candy collar on him just so kids will play with him. Oh yeah. <laughs> Scamp. The Tramp, and another exciting episode of Radio Cam with DJ B Red in the house. You had it easy dumping your kids off at school, but now you've got to entertain them for the next three months. Take your kids to Camp Child Labor. At Camp Child Labor, your kid will get plenty of fresh air out in the field, digging, hoeing, picking fruits and vegetables, and learning the importance of an education. They'll get three meals a day and two breaks, but then it's back to work at Camp Child Labor. Get back to work! And when summer's over, your child will be so happy to see you, and they'll be excited to go back to school. Camp Child Labor, not entirely legal. Please read the Fair Labor Standards Act of 1938 before enrolling. Attention, there will be a marshmallow roast at tonight's campfire. Please see your camp counselor if you need help making a stick. Thank you. It's crucial that you have a good marshmallow roast and stick. Speaking of camp, it's time for another exciting episode of... Radio Camp. Radio Camp with special guest DJ B-Rad in the house. Yeah. DJ B-Rad, uh, we were discussing a... A video that's trending today of a little preschooler. So that's a that's before yeah. before kindergarten. He's a preschooler. Yeah, before it was at a graduation ceremony. Yeah, and the teacher welcomed everybody uh, to the the ceremony. All the parents and everybody there with their cameras and their and their video cameras, taking pictures. And and out of nowhere, a little boy shouts well, some pretty pretty naughty words. Yeah. Thank you. You need to leave? No. Okay. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Talk about a naughty little kid. Yeah, and whoever's kid is that, you better you better make sure he doesn't say any more. Oh, yeah. And well, in the video, you can actually yeah. see what looks like the kid's dad come and yank him out of the class. But I'm sure he got a butt paddling. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Your kid should not say those bad words. No. So, I actually, there's some there's some cuss words that aren't bad that are fun to say. I got a list of them right here. You ready? Yeah. All right. Balderdash. 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 Uh, corn nuts. Ah, corn, corn nuts. Oh, corn nuts. <laughs> How about Dag Nabbit? Dag Nabbit. Dag Nabbit's a good one. Son of a monkey. That's always a good Son one. Son of a monkey. Son of a monkey. I always like saying, shut the front door. Shut the front door. <laughs> shut the front door. But that's a that's a couple uh, G-rated cuss words there. You know uh, the good news about the the foul mouthed preschool kid is that he just recently dropped his first single. The bad news is he dropped some f bombs too. Yeah, f bombs. You need to leave. No. Okay. You need to leave. No. Shut the. 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 Shut the.
So what did we learn today, Bradley? I think that we learned today that... that you don't say bad words. Yeah, you don't say bad words. So... Ah, corn nuts! Oh, corn nuts. It's another exciting episode of... Radio Camp. Stats, numbers, percent signs. Casey's doing math again. Name something you might throw out when you get married. Uh, date book. Tell me a part of the body that begins with the letter T. Yeah. Survey says, brought to you by the Glass Cave Smoke Shop in Hamilton. We got a special episode of Survey Says today. Is it's time for another exciting episode of Radio Camp with DJ B Rad in the house. What's up, B Rad? Well, I'm doing good. I'm ready for another survey. Says. An- another survey says, well, this one's a doozy because uh, even if. You think your kids consider themselves too cool to hang out with you? Well, you're not too cool to hang out with me, though. I know. You. Well, I know because <laughs> all of the kids and friends I have with me are just gonna be less cooler. I know but, you're pretty. You're pretty cool, but no, I mean, yeah. not, they're not as cool as me. Is yeah. what I'm saying. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, deep down. Your kids still want to do stuff with you as a family, even if they'd never admit it in front of all their friends. Because according to a new survey, 73% of kids who are between the ages of 6 years old and 17 years old say that they want more opportunities to hang out with their parents and siblings and bond with them. Is that true? You like you like hanging out? Yeah, I like hanging out with Peyton Easton as That's my your, cousins. Yeah, your siblings, yeah? Yes. And then, and then, of course, we hang out all the time and cause trouble. Yeah, we cause trouble together while doing not, like, less fun <laughs> stuff because that's just stupid stuff. I know, but, I mean, we don't always do stupid stuff. Yeah, I mean, we get problems sometimes, but we don't <laughs> even care. Exactly. Uh, 70% of parents wish they could spend more quality time with their kids, and the survey also found the activities that kids want to do with their parents the most are, and, and tell me if you agree with these, uh, going and playing at the beach. We love doing that every summer. Yeah. We hang yeah. out. We hang out down. Uh, we call yeah. it the beach. It's Florence Bridge, but still. Yeah. We're... Yeah. We call it our life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beach. Beach life, bro. Um, exercise is also a, a, a activity that kids want to do with their folks and uh, play sports. Uh, Bradley, I don't. I'm, I'm kind of into sports. I don't know. Are you into sports? Well, I'm into sports. I'm used to. Um, Soccer ball and even basketball. Yep. Yeah, and you and you you're amazing at archery too. So yeah, even archery. That's yeah. the kind of greatest sport I love. <laughs> but uh, going camping is also another one of the activities that made the top ten list, and that's something B Rad and I enjoy doing. Yeah. Uh, going to a zoo, a museum, or amusement park. We're planning on going to Silverwood for your birthday. Yeah. Uh, playing video games. We do that about each and every day together. Yeah. Yeah. And then going shopping to get new clothes and maybe even purchase dad. Yeah, a new I'm gun pretty sure we did that yesterday, right? We did, yeah, we did. Yeah. So those are the top 10 things that kids want to do with their parents. And whether they, you think they want to spend time with you or not, uh, the chances are they probably do. All right. So there you have it. Survey says on 96 3 The Blaze, it is Radio Camp Edition with DJ B Red. B Red in the house. Thank you so much, B Red. It's 96 through the blaze, Missoula's rock station with AIC. As we're enjoying the final day of radio camp here today with DJ B Rad joining me on the air. DJ B Rad, we're getting geared up for school. Are you excited for back to school? Yeah. You but... are? You're sick of summer and excited for back to school? What are you, crazy? <laughs> well, I just can't wait to go to school because I really want to get as good as I can because yeah, of course. That's I really you... want to get the second grade. You know my motto, D's get degrees. <laughs> <laughs> you worry about that one later when you go to college. But we're going to go get some supplies. Yeah, we do need to get some back to school supplies. Got any idea what's on your back to school shopping list for supplies? It's expensive. I, I know that. I think we got to get like a pair of scissors. Of course. And some Crayola. Cry- a bunch of crayons. Yeah, 102 pack. Number two pencils. No. Yeah. Color pencils. 100. Glue sticks. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah, and also some other school supplies. I already have a backpack. Yeah. Well, you know what? 
Uh, we just so happen to have a thing going on right now at the Blaze website and the Blaze mobile app. Unfortunately, you're not qualified because you're my kid. Yeah. But other people listening right now can enter for their chance to win a $550 worth of gift cards. There's $300 to Target for yeah. school supplies and some new shirts and shoes and stuff. And then 250 bucks to spend at Best Buy. Maybe get yourself a new laptop or something like that. So we do have $550 worth of gift cards up for grabs right now at 963theblaze.com. Moms and dads, back to school time, shopping at School Mart. Yes, it's back to school time for moms and dads. You'll find all your back to school needs at School Mart. What? You say it's your kids that are going back to school? Uh, 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 we know better than that. You're the one that does all their homework, aren't you? What do you think, people are stupid, like teachers are stupid, like they don't know that you were the one that was up till four in the morning finishing that report on zebras because your snotty kid waited until the last minute to do that report? because he was too busy doing PlayStation all week? Huh? I mean, give the teachers some credit for crying out loud. I mean, these are smart people. You don't think they can figure out that your kids are getting hundreds on their homework paper and zeros on tests that you're not doing this stuff for them? Okay? I mean, the teacher already figured out that no 12-year-old's gonna draw a zebra that perfect, okay? You traced it out of a book for them. So you know what? Why don't you just be honest with your kids' teachers, moms, and dads because they know your kid's not that smart, okay? So my suggestion is... Stop doing your kids' homework for them! But if you are going to continue to do it, you'll find plenty of pens, pencils, papers, and notebooks for you moms and dads for Back to School at School Mart. Moms and dads, back to school time shopping at School Mart. Oh, heading back to school. It's the Deftones on 96.3 The Blaze. We are Missoula's rock station as... It's sad today that it's the final day of radio camp for young radio DJ in training, Mr. DJ b In the hole. Yeah, buddy. Uh, it's been fun this summer hanging out with you and doing radio camp. Have you had yeah. a good time? Yeah, but when I start going to second grade, I'm going to get a lot more time with you. Yo, that's what I, yeah, we might have to do it again next year. Is what yeah. I'm thinking next summer, but it, it's a very it's a tough school to get into, a tough camp to get into. You gotta you know go through the application process again and all yeah. that. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, you're going into first grade, right, B Red? Yeah, I'm going into first grade. Okay, what's the what's the 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 trending clothes like? What's the cool trendy clothes that first graders wear? As far as you know, oh probably cool like colored homemade shirts. You mean like tie dye shirts? Yeah, tie dye shirts. What is this? The '60s. Come on. Whatever, hippie. <laughs> Come on. All right, all right. So first graders are digging the tie dye. Yeah. Right. How tie-dye. about how about shoes? Um, I think probably like some Monster Jam or something. Oh, something to do with monster trucks on your shoes. Yeah, like I know. Last chicks time, dig, like, chicks dig monster trucks. Yesterday with you know. my mom, I saw some of those and stuff. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you didn't get them though. I didn't get any. Oh well, your Nikes are pretty slick. Yeah, they're pretty slick. He's yeah. slick. Yeah. And uh, how about hairdos? Is there a cool hairstyle that we need to rock out there? Or? Well, you can probably get some hair paint. Yeah, and do a mohawk. Yeah, do some mohawks for sale or something. Like. <laughs> That's it. That's good. I like it. So good advice. If you have any first graders, yeah. if you have any first graders in your house, just remember monster truck shoes, tie dye shirt, and mohawk. That's so punk yeah. rock. That's so punk rock. I love it. Yeah. All right. Well, B Rad, thanks again for joining me this summer for Radio Camp. Yeah. And uh, Great time. Let, let, let's go do some back to school shopping, shall we? Yeah. Shop for their clothes. Just take your kids and shop for their clothes. 